I lived in Chicago. During the day of questioning, Elena Kagan seemed relaxed, at times animated, answering, sometimes dodging, questions. One senator asked if she was a legal progressive. Here's what she said. Uh, people should be allowed to label themselves. And that's, uh, you know, I, I don't know what that label means. On the Constitution, she said the founders firmly wrote some provisions, but left others up for interpretation. They were looking generations and generations and generations ahead and knowing that they were writing a constitution for all that period of time and that life um, and that circumstances and that the world would change. Ranking Republican Senator Jeff Sessions spent most of his time questioning Kagan's banning of military recruiters from the Harvard Law School Career Center, a decision she changed when the federal government threatened to withhold school funds. Kagan, as law school dean, says she disagreed with the military's policy against homosexuals openly serving. I do oppose the don't ask, don't tell. And you did then. And I did then. We were also trying to protect our own anti-discrimination policy. But I do believe that the actions you took helped create a climate that was not healthy uh, toward the military on campus. But at no time would Kagan admit her personal passions for specific legal issues. What motivates me primarily is the opportunity to safeguard the rule of law, whatever the issues that might come before the court. <laughs> There were some light moments, especially when Republican Orrin Hatch and Democratic Chairman Patrick Leahy were arguing between themselves. Let me ask my questions the way I want to. I, I will. We have to have a little back and forth every once in a while or this place would be boring as hell, I'll tell you. And, and it gets the spotlight off me, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. Go right ahead. Melvin Urofsky is the editor of the Journal of Supreme Court History. He says the confirmation process is crucial since the job is a lifetime appointment. In the entire history of the Supreme Court, no justice has been uh, removed, although um, one or two have resigned. If confirmed, Elena Kagan would replace 90-year-old retired Justice John Paul Stevens, who served more than 30 years. Kagan would become the youngest justice at 50 meaning she could serve longer than Stevens. Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News.